Coach Sanchez here. Today we're going to be talking to you all about track, how to come out of the starting blocks, and how to exchange the baton. Alright, so as Coach Downey said, we'll start off with the blocks and the steps. First, I'll properly show you how to set up your blocks. So here, you can see that I have one foot behind the starting line to set up my block. And when you set up your block, you want to make sure that you step on the ends of the, of the block because there's spikes up there. You don't want to cut yourself. So you'll do that all the way across and step on there just to make sure that it's into the track. Then when you're setting up your steps, you want to ask yourself, what's my dominant foot? A great way to do that is just to ask yourself what foot you use to kick a soccer ball. So for me, it's my right foot. So then I'll take two steps to set up my right foot, my dominant foot. Notice here how I'm stepping on my foot. Then I will simply just set up my right, my right block, my right step. Then you'll take three steps to set up your non-dominant foot. Here, the block is a little short for me, so I'll go ahead and set it to the furthest it can go, like so. Then, Coach Downer will be the runner, my demonstrator. The announcer will say, runners to your mark. He will then approach the block from the right side. He'll get on his knee. He'll do his warm up. Notice here how his fingertips are facing outwards, his thumbs are inwards. When the announcer says, set, he'll stand up. And when he's gonna take off, he's gonna gradually take off like an airplane. He's not gonna stand up like a rocket. And then once he gets to that triangle, he should be at full speed and he should be fully standing up. So that's how you set up your block, your steps, and how you take off. So in track, there's a race called the relay race. In the relay race, there's four different people running. Each person is known as a leg. So there are three different kinds, the four by 100, the four by 200, and the four by 400. The first number indicates the amount of people running, which is four. The second number, 100, 200, or 400, indicates how far each person is running. So let's say you're running the 400, you're only gonna run 100 meters, and then you're gonna hand the baton off to the next person, which is one fourth of the track each. So. This right here is a baton. This metal stick thing right here is a baton. This is what each leg is gonna exchange throughout the, throughout the race. You're gonna wanna hold the baton at the base of the baton so that you don't drop it. If you hold it like this, you can knock it out. It's just the easiest way to exchange the baton from one leg to another. So Coach Sanchez is gonna help me out. When you're exchanging the baton, the, the person getting the baton is He's not going to be looking at you, so you're going to want to get his attention by saying stick. So when you exchange a baton, make sure you exchange from one hand to the other. So it's going to be in my right hand. I'm going to exchange with Coach Sanchez's left hand. So when we're running, I'm going to say stick. That's how smooth it should be whenever you're running. It's going to be a lot faster than obviously in a race, but that's basically how you're going to exchange a baton. But you can't just exchange the baton anywhere on the track. These arrows indicate the exchange zone. That's the only place you can exchange a baton at. You can't exchange before or after the arrows. Uh, that dash right there, before the arrow, that's called the acceleration zone. So between here and here is where you're going to want to place your mark. Your mark indicates where you want to start running. Whenever the leg before you gets to the mark, that's when you're going to want to start running. That's when you're going to start getting ready to receive the baton. If the, if the leg before you is a lot faster than you, you're going to want to exchange the, you're going to have your mark a lot farther back. That way you're going to have time to gather and get ready. The slower you're going to want to put the mark a little closer. And so basically that's the basics of how to exchange the baton, how to receive it, where you want to place your mark, where you can exchange the baton, and that's basically it. Coach Sanchez, anything? Remember guys, the best teams out there, they have the best exchanges out there. So just keep that in mind. You want to practice those exchanges and make them really crisp.